In the following short video, we're going to show you how to connect our universal timer and how to configure it. You can configure the delay to your circuit from one second to about four hours. So three wires going to the source, ground and the load and two are configuration wires you use to configure the delay. So I'm going to connect it to the test circuit, just nine volt battery and a LED. I'm going to just connect the power first. So if I want to delay, here's a diagram, if I want, after I turn the power to the circuit on, I want to delay for let's say five seconds and then I want to turn the circuit on. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to turn the circuit on, I'm going to supply the power to it, and after five seconds I'm going to short two white wires. You can use this switch and then I'm going to turn off the circuit. Basically it will repeat uh, the connection of those two white wires. It acts as the external switch and it will learn, I'm going to teach the uh, circuit when, when to turn off and on the power. So let's do it again. So I turn the power on, the two wires are not shorted in one two three four five seconds i'm gonna shorten this means i want to supply the power to my load and i'm gonna turn off the circuit so let's see if that worked i'm gonna connect the led i'm gonna turn it on one two three four five and my circuit is on now you can try it again turn it off turn it back on and every time you turn the uh, off and on, it will wait for five seconds and turn back on. If I want a different time, I just wait for longer. That's one way. Another way, I can uh, set up the circuit to turn on after a period of time, then stay on and then turn off. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to turn the power on to the circuit. Basically, I'm going to teach, I'm going to short the white wires during this time and it will repeat it. So I'm going to turn the power on, I'm going to wait for 5 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to short the white wires, I'm going to wait for another, let's say, 5 seconds. And then, and then I'm going to disconnect them. And I'm going to turn the power off, I'm going to reconnect the LED and we're going to test it. So, turn it on. Wait for a period of time, so five, about five seconds, it will turn on, and it will be on for about five, six seconds, and it will turn off. So every time you do that, it will turn on, off. What else you can do, you can say, I want to supply the power initially for a period of time. And again, it's from one second to four hours, and then I'm going to turn it off. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to now short the wires before I turn the power on, because when I turn the power on, I want the circuit to be on. So I'm going to short the white wires. short the white wires I'm gonna turn the circuit on wait for five seconds and then I'm gonna disconnect the white wires and turn the circuit off so basically I want it to stay on for five seconds and then turn off so let's test that on five seconds and it's uh, off Well, it's not off because, because I short the white wire to the ground by accident. So let's uh, repeat this test. Let's short it on. Let's turn, turn the power on. Wait for five seconds. I disconnect the two white wires and then I shut the power off. I reconnect and let's let's test it 
Again. One. One, two, three, four, five. It's off and it's gonna stay off. Let's try again. It's on. And it's gonna be off. All right, let's say you want to turn the circuit on. Let's say you wanna pause, turn the circuit on. You wanna repeatedly turn the circuit off and on, off and on. Let's say one second on, five seconds off. One second on, five seconds off. So the way I'm gonna do that is uh, I'm going to turn the circuit, okay, turn the circuit off first. I'm gonna turn the circuit on. Wait for five seconds. Then I'm gonna short for one second. One, disconnect. And then and then after five seconds, I'm gonna short it again. That will tell the circuit that I wanna repeat the same pattern. So once you do that, let's turn the circuit on. And we're gonna wait five seconds as we did initially. I'm gonna turn on for a second, turn off for about five seconds, and we're gonna continue that. So you can set your uh, interval uh, as as long as you want. Now, what you can do if you want to increase the power, the circuit could supply up to eight amps to your load. If you want to supply, if you want to connect the relay, you would do it this. The following way basically the timer is going to control the relay and then the load uh, then it's up to relay so i have the relay here so here's the relay for 30 amps so the way i'm going to do that i'm going to disconnect the circuit i'm going to connect the output from the timer to the relay and i'm going to connect the ground to the ground relay goes to the ground And I'm gonna turn it back on. So we already programmed it to do this. You'll hear the click, click, and then it will wait for five seconds and and continue to cycle like that. If you want to uh, use a higher voltage, you can sub you can use the circuit like this, and then you can supply 110 volts or any other volts to your load. Here we go. Thank you so much.